Hi, and thanks for joining us. My name is Dr. Mike Atkinson, and I am here today at Brookfield Zoo's Pachyderm Building, where our team is just getting ready to undertake a procedure with Layla, one of our black rhinoceroses. Layla has been an ongoing challenge for us here at the zoo over the last couple of years, and many of you may be familiar with her case. Layla had an impacted molar tooth that led to an infection up into her sinuses, and that sinus infection has been a tremendous challenge for us to get under control. We've had to do a couple surgical procedures with her. We also undertook a couple of CT scans to get some good diagnostic imaging of the inside of her sinuses. Those procedures were a big undertaking and we've done some previous posts on those if you'd like to learn more about them. For today's procedure, we're just doing a fairly quick recheck examination on Layla to take a look in the back of her airway and, and make sure that things are not continuing to be problematic for her. So we thought we'd give you a behind the scenes look at everything that goes into getting Layla safely under anesthesia and taking a very quick uh, uh, look in the back of her nose. You'll see that it's no small procedure and it takes a lot of people to get it accomplished. inside of Layla's sinuses finally. So you can see that's a tremendous amount of effort and work to get this big girl under anesthesia safely and in a position where we can work on her. So you'll notice a couple things going on here. One, we've got the endoscope going up her nose, but then we also have a, a small opening in the top of her sinus here where we've basically just created a, a second nostril temporarily to give us surgical access down into this area. So if you're out here at the zoo, you may notice that she's got a flap of synthetic skin over that area that keeps that closed when uh, we're not doing a medical procedure and basically helps keep her sinuses and her airways moisturized and also prevents any sort of debris from falling in there. So that's just a temporary um, situation we've got with her. Once we get this problem fully resolved, that'll come off and the uh, normal skin will heal back over that without any problems. Um, you probably also notice as, as I'm talking that you're hearing this loud whooshing sound periodically in the background and that's actually the ventilator that we're using um, to deliver breaths to her while she's under anesthesia. So that loud noise that you're hearing right there is um, the amount of air pressure that it takes to inflate the chest on an animal this size. What we're doing right now is uh, we've got an endoscope running up her nose uh, into her airways and her sinuses so that we can see how things are progressing. The front part of her sinus looks absolutely fantastic. The tissue all looks healthy. Uh, everything is patent all the way from her nostril all the way back into her sinuses. We've still got a constricted area in the back of her sinus where the, where the sinuses normally open into the back of your throat. Um, and that's the part that's been causing us the most problem lately. So what we are doing right now is just trying to get a feel for the angle and the measurement of this area and then we will be coming back with, a, with another uh, round of intervention in the form of either another minor surgical procedure or another minor treatment uh, with some drugs to open this up and get the airway and patency restored all the way back to the, the back of her throat like we would like to see. So. We're in good shape today. We're happy with how things look. We've still got some work ahead of us, but um, it's doing wonderful, well, and hopefully we will get this problem fully resolved soon. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, we hope to see you out here for a soon.